Hey right guys, Trish Munches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 8 of the original season 1. Last episode we had Tyler rolling them up. Sorry, I'm just checking um, that I've got the right order of where to watch these. What episode are we on? Episode 8, I just said. Okay, so yeah, I'm right. We have this episode and then we have to do another originals after this because I just did two uh, Vamp Diaries back to back. I don't know why, but that's what the <laughs> uh, watch order is telling me to do, so that's what we're going to do. And yeah, last time we had Tyler bimbling around, doing his thing, trying to 1v1 Klaus. That didn't go too well for him, but now it seems like he's going to try to help out Marcel as well. So yeah, great job. Uh, but episode 8, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncuts to the originals, the Vampire Diaries, and every other show that I do, then Patreon will of course be linked down below. But for now, let's do this. Are you even Catholic? I've been on this earth for a thousand years. I can't say for certain that I believe in anything like a god, but I need absolution from someone, anyone. So will you hear my confession or not? I don't think I have much of a choice. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Oh God, how many years do you have to I am a liar, a betrayer. Um, yeah, sure. I feel like Rebecca, Klaus, and Elijah will be everything you can possibly be uh, in terms of evil. A thousand years, you've probably messed up a few times. 24 hours earlier. Alright, okay, this is what she's done over the past 24 hours. On the contrary, Nick, I am simply enjoying my brekkie, waiting for Elijah's health return. Oh, come on, Rebecca. You've been giving me the devil's eye all morning. Out with it. Perhaps I'm concerned that if I voice my opinion about what you did to Elijah, I will end up on the wrong side of your toxic hybrid teeth. Poppycock. <laughs> Poppycock. Right, oh, Klaus. Offensive accusations about my intentions towards my child. He deserves a day or two of discomfort. Besides, you know my preferred method of punishment for your indiscretions is the dagger. Yeah, I guess you'd rather the option Elijah's had. There is something fundamentally wrong with you. Obviously. Yeah, you still hang out with them all the time. I mean, she did try to leave, to be fair, but... Here, drink this. <coughs> wow, all over her shoes. Forgive me, please. It's okay. Oh. Remind me to annihilate your brother once you're healthy. Yes, remind me to remind you to get in line. It doesn't help that we decided to shack up in the middle of a swamp either. This is so risky that Klaus has done this, because if if she gets into trouble now, she's going to, I mean, she can fend for herself pretty well, as we know, but having Elijah as backup would be nice as well, no? <laughs> See? There we go. Now she's going to be kidnapped again, and <laughs> Elijah can't do anything to help. Marcel's feeling himself. For those of you faint of heart, there's the door. Okay. Because those who stick around, you're signing up for battle. Oh, this guy's well into it. You all know Klaus wasn't always the hybrid, but when he broke the curse that kept his werewolf side dormant, somewhere in all that certain parts are now able to trump his vampire side. Look at him, there's a whole crew and everything. Now she's pregnant with his kid. What the hell is this? Just listen. <laughs> of course he wants to pipe up already. And the toxins in our bites could still kill a vampire. But on the downside, we were loyal to him. Like, supernaturally loyal. Right, and that's why you're here, spilling all his secrets? No, that's the Dude, point, Diego. Him. He figured out a way to break free of it. And I helped the rest of them, too. Then Klaus killed them for their betrayal. Oh, and Wolf's Rebecca. Because that is what <laughs> Klaus does. Uh, you really should get soundproof walls if you want to have conversations like this. You don't like it? Go ahead and take your brother's side. But you know I'm right. I believe you're mistaken the lady's intentions. All right, what's going on? You are absolutely right, Tyler. My brother is a crap enough individual as it is. Um, crap is an understatement. There's no way Rebecca, like, is down to betray Klaus. She's not here to fight us. She's here to help us. That's right. We've seen this before Perfect. where Elijah... Oh, okay. <laughs> that is enough talk about harming that baby. Klaus is the one we're putting a stop to. Oh, so she okay. 
She's not down to kill the baby, then. They have all forsaken me. My siblings are as deceitful and diseased as my parents. Oh, yeah, she's writing his memoirs. Accusing me of using my baby for my own gain. <laughs> Trusting others before their own blood. Oh, says the you. Laptop kill you. I tried to win this battle of wills over Marcel's control of the quarter in order to reclaim our home. Type, please. What's Type, please. Is there anyone who isn't plotting your downfall? I doubt you trust your own reflection. You know, if the daggers weren't missing, I would put one in each of their hearts. Okay. <laughs> I remember asking for your advice. Oh, really? So of all the people in New Orleans, you choose someone with a master's in psychology to record your life story. Well... You're over a thousand years yeah. old, pretty damn sure you know how to type. Getting into the mind of an original. What is this? It's an ancient mystical plot I'm using to destroy you. Relax, it's a tattoo design. You're on your own time. Well, it's not going to be a tattoo design, is it? <laughs> Isn't that the mark uh, that woman had on her back? What we're doing is nothing Klaus hasn't done to both you and your brother a dozen times over. And would still do again. He just said that. If he had the daggers, he'd stake her straight up. Jesus. Oh. Oh, I vaguely remember Celeste. this. Celeste. Celeste. We're being watched. Jesus. Hey! Creepy old. Oh, wow, that music change. What do you got, Josh? What, what do I got? Klaus wants me to Look steal some crappy dagger from you. It's a test, okay? He knows I'm working for you. I'm sure of it. That bastard wants to dagger us again. He deserves everything he's going to get. Relax. If he knew, he would have ripped your spine out through your nose by now. Through your nose? How would that even... I don't know that would work. Not doubting your mad vampire skills of destruction or anything, but Marcel's on red alert. Surrounded by, like, an army. You're totally boned. Surrounded by Rebecca and Tyler. Unless... Unless what? I overheard him arguing with Diego. Uh, apparently he's clearing out the compound tonight for a date or something. That's where Marcel will be. When I run New Orleans, there will be a permanent daylight ring in it for you, Joshua. Oh, hell yeah. The services rendered unto your true king. Cool. <laughs> cool. But... If you ever betray me, there it is. I will make sure you spend the rest of yeah. your eternal life in exquisite yeah. agony. There it is. Wishing for a merciful death. Okay. <laughs> Klaus is very good with his threats. She gave me a piece of her mind earlier today. I would have killed others for less. I care about her survival. I smell war in the air. Cares about bombs, and with every it? war. There is the innocent victim who could have been spared if they had just walked away. Please convince her to walk away from New Orleans. Can you just compel her to leave? Or I will be forced to compel her to go. Okay. He doesn't want to do that. God, it looks infected. Yes, a large. Look at that drip, bro. Sacrificing my joy to temper my brother's mischief. Surely you could cast a spell in this place. Was this his uh, love interest then? He only ever listens to you. Yes. He certainly needs a little discipline. Oh! Perhaps a spanking of some kind is in order. Oh! Elijah! Bro. <laughs> Who's Elijah actually had a romance with that we know of? He had one with Catherine briefly. <laughs> You don't like people taking care of you? Well, there are consequences for those that care. I will not have you pay that price. So you're having weird retro sex dreams. Get over it. I'm staying. <laughs> retro sex dreams? Klaus. He doesn't say to you. He had a lot of people around him. Dead here. A little pissed off lately. 
Apologies for my behavior can come later. You have something of mine. I want it back. Sorry, but I can't do that. All revealed. <laughs> what is this? Apologies for what your do you behavior. Think, Klaus? Finally in possession of the one thing that can take you down. How does it feel? Great. There we are. Klaus is gonna wreck everyone. <laughs> They're all rolling up like this sound a chance. So this is it. <laughs> the evil bastard Klaus has gone too far. Must be punished. And by his own sibling, nonetheless. <laughs> uh, what my own sibling? <laughs> Again, like he hasn't done that a billion times. Is this your idea of a hit? I taught you better than this paltry excuse for a takedown. You, you, can think also, can also you can subdue me with this. <laughs> no, but I have this. But I think I can with this. Here we go. It's just Matt. Oh no! Oh, I thought Matt, what from the Van Dyes was going to reveal himself there, and that would have been scary. Honestly, Klaus go, and then he just rips all the hearts out. I love that Marcel waited for Klaus to say something about how little his army was for him to bring out the rest of his army. <laughs> Allow Tros! Ah, Bridgerton. Oui. Set, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux. I'm alive, fun. Damn. Celeste is one of those that you so recklessly pointed your finger at. Who Celeste? Give a shit. Oh, yes. The witch you've been knocking around with. Well, fear not. Harlots are like rats in the quarter. You trip over one every step you take. I think it's gonna bloody happen. You care about her? Well, that is unfortunate. I hear they're rounding up the town's witches as we speak. You're a prick. Why? <laughs> Let's end this charade, shall we? Go on, wreck them all. Vampires of New Orleans, <laughs> do recall that I am an original, a hybrid. <laughs> I cannot be killed. There is that. Eternity is an awfully long time. I guess they're not trying to kill him, though. They're just trying to put him in that prison. What if one of you lot were to release me? Knowing I will be eternally in your debt. <laughs> to borrow a trick from an old friend. Maybe they'll get him temporarily for like an apple too. Whoever picks up this coin gets to live. Wow. I'd be straight on the coin. Like, I'd be like, Klaus is, wins all the time. Pledge allegiance to Klaus. Take it now. Go ahead. The choice is yours. Me. <laughs> and I will say with Marcel, it seems like he has a strict set of rules that he does stick to. Dead. 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 <laughs> Wow, I've never seen Klaus get overpowered. Well, we have actually a couple of times, but... Oh, so easy! Jesus! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Rebecca's like, shit. Why did you drag him down a hallway where only one of you can take him on at a time? <laughs> oh take the coin. What? You won't stop until everyone is dead and he will kill you too. End this. Is that all you are planned? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's more out here. Here we go. That's embarrassing, Marcel. I'm sorry. 
Oh, that was his plan. We're going to put some chains around his arms, but then we'll wait for him to go hybrid mode and then we'll shit ourselves. Oh, he's well, so OP. Well, well, well. I, I could have told you this was going to happen. I mean, granted, I've technically seen this episode before. <laughs> I don't remember any of this bit, though. There. I hereby pledge my allegiance to you. You have the keys to my kingdom. <laughs> and this is this part of the plan. It's yours. Like they, him and Rebecca go behind closed doors and like, well played, well acted. <laughs> I don't know what the other part of the plan is after that, but... It's a secret code Sean and I used to use when we were kids. Oh. I have no memory of drawing it. It doesn't look like a drawing, that's why. It looks like it's printed off. I want to know what happened to the people in that family tree. Summon it up nice and quick. Marcel happened. What did he do? He More killed serious. most of them. Later, the descendants of the ones who died. Surely now Hades gonna have a problem with Marcel and go after him next. Curse on them. What kind of curse? Swap nature around, inside out. Made it so their natural state was wolves. They only turn back human on the full moon. We get hunted by the marks we carry. That crescent moon birthmark. That's why I got rid of mine. I didn't want to get found out. Oh no, it's not the same mark at all. Are you okay? The wound is healed, the fever has broken, but for some strange reason, I had this sharp and lingering sensation in my back. Ah, uh, that might be something to do with being stabbed there, but... But I'll be back, okay? I need to know more. Keep that mark covered up. I just met part of my family. Uh, at least I've given something to a character, other than just being pregnant. Seems like the eight abs in and they're building on her a bit. <laughs> How many died? Oh my god! What a fail! <laughs> oh, Marcel. Surely everyone would see Marcel as weak now. Looking at what you've wrought. Look, if you're gonna kill me, let's get this over with. Why would I kill you? You're my best friend. You picked up the coin. There are rules of engagement in battle, Marcel. Without them, you'd have anarchy. Okay. <laughs> Let's make one thing clear. You'll never have this. I bet he stops Rebecca. Loyalty. You can't buy it. You can't own it. You can't force it. It comes oh, only fair. out of love and respect for the people who believe in you. That is the one thing Klaus has never been able to achieve. You taught me many things, Nick Klaus Michelson, but this I learned myself. And it is something that you will never know. He has points. Enjoy your kingdom. <laughs> His kingdom with no one in it. Jesus, we're rapping. Enjoy your kingdom where no one cares about you. I'm sorry I tried to hurt you. I would never want that. Well, I should... Tell me what happened to Celeste. That's not important. It is important. Oh yeah, I need the end of that story. A thousand actually. years of memories and that's what breaks through your fever brain? Oh, is she dead? Oh no, she'd be floating otherwise. Maybe. What, what happened there? I guess this is because of the people Klaus sent out. And bloody time. So his memories would be from third person. She died because of class. She died because of me. Well, because of class, but sure. Because I cared too deeply for her. I had allowed my brother to slip through my grasp. I'd loosened the reins while Celeste consumed my every moment. I'd abandoned him in the name of my own happiness. And you still didn't want to kill him at the end of season two after that? Celeste paid the price. Okay. <laughs> of all eternity. To accomplish one single task, my brother's salvation. If I surrender this, then tell me what value would I be to my family, to myself, to your child. Also, the dialogue is a step up from the Van Dyer's dialogue. Feels like they're trying to get more into like the psyche of Klaus and of the, of the characters of like the originals instead of just oh, he's a bad guy, let's beat him up. Either they're saying that the Va Van Dyer season. Five where I'm out there getting into like PTSD over with Stefan and stuff, so yeah, it's interesting. Elijah's home, there's only one dagger. 
Which one of us will you be punishing today? Probably you. I contemplated you. a game. Elijah's hardest punishment though. Meanie, meanie, miney, mo. You betrayed me. Yeah, well. My own sister. Why do you think, Klaus? It should be you, brother. Stealing my child away with every fawning moment of tenderness you showed to Haley. This has nothing to do with Haley. It has everything to do with her! She's adored you since she arrived. And now my child, my blood, will grow up to call you father. Well, that's a bit presumptuous. <laughs> you are once again worried that you will be left behind. Has history taught you nothing? We don't abandon you, Nick. You drive us away. Yes, somehow they don't decide to so, abandon you yet. What have I done lately other than cooperate and bow down to you, brother, to make up for daggering you He's for the greater right, good though. of our plan to reclaim our home while he controls the empire that we built, that he took? <laughs> oh, my God. Now, I make no excuses for past sins. But in the one moment when you two could have chosen to stand by me, to believe in me. I just don't, uh... I believe my intentions for my own child were pure. You chose to stand against me. It's like you want to- Side with my enemies. Back what he's saying, but it's just like everything he does contradicts it all the time. It's like, obviously they're not gonna stand with you at times. You just betray him constantly, like... You can stay here together. And rot. <laughs> Until the next episode when we make conversations and come up with plans again. That was a great scene. Again, I feel like scenes like that would work so much more if you hadn't <laughs> seen the vampire dies. It's such a, like... I don't know, double-edged sword. Because you have so much of the characters, but then it's just... But all the things I'm saying, it, it it's what makes, like, their family an interesting dynamic to watch, I guess. Last time, my foggy brain. I thought I must be going crazy, like Sean. But then I thought, what if somewhere in my subconscious, I was trying to send myself a message? I was. Oh, okay. Klaus, 1919. Klaus. I found this in the Picayune newspaper archives from 1919. Do, do, do. Those men. Oh, yeah. I know them. Oh, my God, what this? <laughs> I know both of them. Oh, wait, as in she knows them from before? Or, like, she's just, she's just figured out that... She doesn't know what vampires are. I, I think it's more her breaking because she does know this stuff technically, but she's been compelled to forget. So, this is like her actual version having known this. And Klaus and Marcel don't know that she knows it now. So, uh, yeah, very good episode. I really enjoyed this one. Like I said, it's, it is hard with Klaus because you kind of get what he's saying, you want to agree with it, but then we know how he acts with Elijah and Rebecca. So, then you get why they act the way they do as well. So, yeah, I just can't. I don't know. I do. I love Klaus. I think he's great. I think the actor Joseph Morgan is brilliant as well. Um, but there are times where I'm just like, I can't agree with what he's saying. Um, but then I think the show tries to want you to get to agree with him. Like, oh, you can see it from Klaus's point of view. And it's like, no, not really. <laughs> oh, you didn't stand by me when I had good intentions for my daughter. Even though I've done like five other things during this season to make you think otherwise. And I've not told you otherwise. But you should have believed me. because And, it's, and then he tries to lay out examples of how he's been good for them and it's just like oh no 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 um i gave this a seven out of ten originally wow i'm definitely bumping that up to an eight i think this was one of the best episodes that we've had so far like i say i'm going to try to i don't know it's hard i don't want to like say oh i'll try to forget about the things that happened in the vampires or anything like that i'll try to see it as a different show because it's part of the same universe i think it's easy to say that with shows that like maybe it has it's in the same genre or it's from the same creator. It's like, yeah, okay, you want to see them as two different shows, but this is like still part of the Vampire Diaries universe. So, me going on about how, like, oh, it's annoying that he says this when we know this from the Vampires, it's, it kind of makes sense because. But then, if you just went into the show not having seen the Vampires, I feel like that scene would have hit so much better, even though it still was a great scene. Um, it's such a hard one. Uh, but 
yeah, everyone was really great this episode. I love how Tyler just got dragged off to the catacombs, <laughs> never to be seen again. Uh, what did he add? I mean, he got people back in Marcel temporarily. Marcel's plan was silly. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go attack him, I guess, with loads of people, even though we know he can take on hordes of enemies quite easily. Like, he just carves through them as soon as he goes hybrid mode. Uh, they should have had, they should have had something to kind of put him under. Uh, and then put him in the catacombs, but no, their plan was to just kind of try to overpower him, which was never going to work. But seeing, we've seen class, I think, like two other times in the Vamp Diaries, kind of just go OP mode where he just calls through people. Um, obviously, he's gone through people before, like three or four, but like he's had, I can think of two other times where he's gone through like 10 people or something. So to see that here, this has seemed like the most overpowered we've seen in like the whole corridor thing. It was uh, quite fun just seeing him throw people around um, left and right. So. Yeah, really great episode. Really enjoyed this one. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you thought the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode 9. So until then, take care. Peace.